Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm uh, going to try and give the iPhone a go with recording today. The iPad's a bit low on battery, so I wanted to get this video out anyway. And I've braved the elements. Uh, it's uh, middle of summer and it's actually 40 degrees today. It's a bit warm. Um, I don't know if any of you know that in Australia at the moment, we're going through a pretty bad drought and uh, water levels are getting quite low. So I've got many fruit trees down the back and they're hooked up to drip irrigation. But even with the evaporation rates, it's not great watering. So I'm going to give uh, hydroponics a, a go with a deep water culture. So essentially it's a bucket system, or in my case at the moment, I've got some foam boxes. And then you put water and fertilizer in and you actually hit the root zone with the water. So it's enclosed, it's not going to evaporate into the atmosphere. It's gonna be direct uptake through the plant and uh, let's get stuck into it. So here I have some of my necessary bits. So the foam box I got from my buddy at uh, my aquarium. That's him there. He actually carries some hydroponic and aquaponic supplies. So I got clay balls there. I got my airline, my air stone, uh, blade to cut this box with, some valves and inserts for this 13 mil uh, poly hose and some measuring tools. So as I said, 30 mil hose and 20, uh, 20 centimeter net pots. So the idea is we're gonna cut two holes in here. And because I'm a mathematical genius, I've already worked it out of where I'm going to cut. So essentially we'll cut those, slip them in, put the balls in, put plants in, and fill that up with fertilizer and get all the air airline hooked up. So I'm going to start cutting this and get it all ready in the greenhouse. So I actually got a bit carried away and started doing everything without filming it. But I'll give you a run through here of what I've done. So here you can see the holes are cut out for the net pots. Now, as I said, there were 20 centimeter net pots, but we actually cut these to 19.5 centimeters because the lip on there can sit on the foam itself so it doesn't fall through. So I've got that cut. I've had this bubbling away for a little bit. This is a biodigester liquid. This is a fertilizer. And it's just, uh, at the moment, the concentration was okay. I just watered it down a little bit, filled it up. And here, you can see I've done cutouts for the airline and as well as on the lid. So we can just slip that on the now, to get the air we need going through the water, we used the old little air compressor I had for the biogas. And I had uh, just the big bag and or the, the air mattress running this into everything uh, until I discovered compressing was a lot better. So we got that going through. I've had to do a makeshift connector here, odd size for, um, for my air pipe to irrigation pipe. That's 13 mil barb there still. So these are the uh, little joiners here. You screw these into the pipe and then your airline and there's a valve if you need it. So at this, at the end of this, it's just a blocker here, another clamp on it. So if you've got multiple, you just have a longer piece of this going into more buckets or more buckets and as necessary. So here's the air stone I've got on. And that puts out a nice amount of oxygen in the water for dissolved oxygen for the plants and roots. There is another method of uh, hydroponics where you don't have any air and it just sits there. Uh, it's good for lettuce because lettuce and that doesn't need a lot of um, dissolved oxygen, but for plants and uh, tomatoes certainly, uh, dissolved oxygen is uh, recommended. Today I went out and bought a Roman tomato and so uh, red jalapeno, I'm going to try it in the hydroponics. So as you can see here, I've got the bubblers going, the air stones, into a little pump. And there's my clay pellets. So what I'll do is I will put the plants in the clay. Oh, I've just got to fill this up a bit more with water because it won't actually reach the bottom of this. So water won't uh, go up into the roots. So I'll do that 
and we'll see what the final product looks like. Maybe a little bit hard to see, but the net pot is now submerged under there. So once I put the plant in, uh, the water will hit the root system and then it will go, go down. So as the roots grow down, it is less important for the water level to be high. Uh, so we can keep less water in there. Here I'm just going to do a pH test of this fertilizer here. Okay, let me see. All right, so I've got a good alkalinity buffer and the pH is probably close to six, which is what I want for these tomatoes uh, and the chili. So that's fine, the pH of that is fine. So that'll stay in the nutrient range. So now I get my little EC meter. Okay. It's that looking at about, well, depends on how I hold it. Anywhere between 1400 and 1200 is what I want for nutrient level. And of course, as the plants grow, the nutrient level will drop down, so I'll have to add more of the fertilizer. So I've emptied out a good portion of the, the clay balls to fit this in. Now I've got one or two options here. I can either keep it in the soil and just put it in here and then surround it with the clay balls, or I can actually wash the soil off the roots and then put it in there and then fill in the clay balls as well but uh, I want to avoid um, shocking the plant so I'll just put it in there and surround it with the balls. So the root system on this is pretty good and if we just pop them in like that somewhere close to the middle and then I'll fill it in. There we have it. I'll just give it a, a little bit of a water from the top just because uh, where I got it from it was very very dry there was a lot of uh, droopy plants uh, so just initially wet the soil and that's it sit and forget I will just check back on it every couple of days check the water level check the growth uh, check the nutrients and yeah hopefully it should all be going well well it's been about two weeks uh, since I first started this video uh, I've had to top everything up a bit with the old biogas liquid but um, it is still scorching here uh, the plants they feel in the heat because it's still the middle of the afternoon so they're drooping a little bit but yeah they, these are guys have done really well in two weeks that's doubled in size now let's have a lift up of this roots are starting to come out on the sides here so in there still bubbling away it's not very often that i have to top up the uh the water in here so really it is almost like a set and forget situation uh, i've done the ph levels they're fine done the ec levels uh they've gone down from what was it it was about 1300 or so down to 900 and i'm going to keep it at that because that works out to be about 1.1 1.2 ec which is uh, fine. And this is already starting to uh, go into flowering stage. Uh, the chili here has a little bit of a flower coming on. So it won't be too long before I start seeing fruit off it, but I expect uh, it's doubled in size in two weeks. So I expect uh, this will just keep growing like crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do more videos. Um, I think at the moment I've got one planned. I've got a, uh, a banana. I want to do in a bucket system. Same system, the deep water culture with the air bottlers, uh, with the uh, biogas juice, and I'll keep you updated with that because I'm, I'm quite looking forward to that one. Hi right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if there's any suggestions or comments or questions, leave them down in the bottom, and uh, I'll try and answer as many as I can. I'm always open to suggestions of things I should try next. Uh, so if there's any ideas. Let me know, otherwise have a great day.